Hi, it's nice to meet you. Really great to meet you too. Um, thank you so much for doing this. I know the online stuff can be weird. Right, yeah, it's it's really overwhelming to meet people because I feel like I never know what to say. Me too, it's, it's really hard. Um, so, you know what, tell me, um, when was the first day of your last period? Um, the second? Uh, the, the, this isn't going to work out. The perfect girl is hard to find The girl I can't get off my mind The one who's bloated when I've got cramps Spending the next three to seven days in sweatpants Ba 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 be in sync Ba 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 be in sync Ba 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 be in sync If you love me we'll be in sync Ba 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 be in sync Ba 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 be in sync Ba 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 be in sync If you love me we'll be in sync one downside to being queer, Mother Nature wreaks havoc 12 times a year. I refuse to make that 24. If we're not in sync, baby, there's the door. Ba 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 be in sync, ba 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 be in sync. Ba 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 be in sync, if you love me, we'll be in sync. Ba 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 be in sync, ba 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 be in sync. Ba 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 be in sync, if you love me, we'll be in sync. I'm getting my period tomorrow. tomorrow. Wow. Baby, be my personal heating pad. Heat me up, ease my pain. Try to make me feel less mad. Let's eat chocolate cookies, ice cream cake, gummy bears, donuts, burger shakes. Who cares if I'm bleeding? At least my heart don't ache. Ba 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 be in sync. Ba 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 be in sync. Ba 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 be in sync. If you love me, we'll be in sync. Ba 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 be in sync. Ba 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 be in sync. Ba 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 be in sync. If you love me, we'll be in sync. Thank you so much for joining me for my Valentine's Day special on Hump Day. Yes, yes, it was absolutely intentional. Uh, allow me to be the millionth person to open a message with, I hope that you've been staying safe and well during these unprecedented times. And while I mean it with my whole soul, it's just getting old to see. Um, my sidekick needed a lot of convincing to come on the show tonight. Uh, she's been going through a pretty public breakup. As I'm sure most of you heard, uh, Jeff Bezos is stepping down as the CEO of Amazon. Uh, so now he and I are both invested in her for absolutely no financial gain. Uh, thank you, thank you. Hey, it's okay, come on, it's, it's okay. It's, yeah, these are your friends. Uh, thank you for still coming on the show. Um, it is Valentine's Day. I don't want you to be too bummed out. Um, Alexa, do you have a fun fact about Valentine's Day? Here's a fact about Valentine's Day. According to Wikipedia, numerous early Christian martyrs were named Valentine. The Valentines honored on February 14th are Valentine of Rome and Valentine of Terni. Okay, cool. So she doesn't really want to get into like the romantic aspect. So she's going for the historical to like, you know, not dig too deep, you know, when she's going through a tough time. Um, let's try to break her out of her shell a little bit. Um, Alexa, do you have any good pickup lines? This place must have good Wi-Fi because I'm definitely feeling a connection. Hey, that's 
that's how you get back out there. That's perfect. Um, Alexa, who's your Valentine? Wait, it wasn't you who sent me that Valentine? Then I wonder who I have to thank for all the megabytes of chocolate. Wow, I guess she's already got a secret admirer, so she's back on track. Um, throughout this special, you're going to meet 11 brave souls who are also back on track looking for romance. Uh, it's a brand new game. Slide into my DMs. Uh, you think somebody's cute? Do you want to be their new best friend? Do you just want to give a stranger a compliment because, you know, kindness is all we need in this world? Slide into their DMs. Uh, it took a lot of bravery to present themselves in this completely virtual format, so I give them a lot of credit. Uh, while it was brand new for them, it was definitely brand new for me too. Uh, I spend most of my time on Zoom now, but to a pathetic degree, I needed to learn a lot more about hosting Zoom rooms and filming the right way. Uh, so it's a really good thing that the first contestant has been my best friend for going on 12 years. And she taught me a thing or two about the screen share button. Take a look. Yeah, you, you <laughs> it's disabled. <laughs> so if you could allow me to do so. <laughs> so what I'd like to tell my potential suitors, one, I'm not good at technology and neither is our host. <laughs> my name's Katrina. And I am from good old Providence, Rhode Island. And my hair does not look like that naturally, but you know, dare to dream. I'm an actor and I'm a fitness instructor. I don't know what else it says on there. Oh, a teacher, that's important. I teach as well. And I am the host of my own little talk show that our dear host was just on recently called Thoughts of Cat Live on IGTV. I love coffee and coffee shops. Parents and puppies love me. So if you have a parent and you have a puppy, that's all you need. Or one of the two. Or one of the two. I'm a great listener, but I'm terrible at giving directions while in the passenger seat. If I'm driving, I'm just amazing at taking directions, at getting us where we need to go. But if you're driving and you, you need me to give you directions, just... I'm gonna go sit in the back. This is not my dog. I don't have a dog yet, but I have a very special bond with dogs. So if you're looking at me and you're like, she's so cute. And you're like, oh, but damn, I don't like dogs. Then I don't want you. Fellas, I'm looking for somebody to make me laugh. And you'll know that you've accomplished that when the donkey sound escapes my body. Alexa has heard it before. Oh yeah, uh-huh, yes it, It's rare, you know, like some of it is like true guttural laughter. But if the donkey sound comes out, I mean, that's like on the bucket list. You can like check it off. I want somebody who's active, an active lifestyle, because I'm always on the go and doing a lot of moving. So I want you to come with me. Some hobbies. Um, I like cooking sometimes, to be honest. Sometimes I just don't feel like it. I love reading. I'm reading a book called The Signature of All Things right now. And it's about botany of all things but it's actually very fascinating so that's fun and of course I like to binge watch tv shows um about botany. not about botany <laughs> Mexican food is the way to my heart but then I thought about it and I said well Italian food is also the way to my heart and then I thought no just food anything that I that's yeah food food in general is the way to my heart but I do love empanadas and margaritas. I love traveling and going on spontaneous adventures, but I love the ocean. And I didn't grow up with the ocean, so I think that's why I'm like very attached to it right now. One of my favorite cities, I put a picture of it here, Portland, Oregon. I know okay. it's so red. Yeah. That's beautiful. And I'm gonna let you finish as Kanye West says, you grew up in the ocean state. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I just didn't go to the beach very often until like all of us had cars. We were That's like, oh, a new yeah. problem. You grew up in the ocean state. I went to Portland for like a three day weekend because I was training to be a bar three instructor. Um, but it was amazing. At Katrina Z Paveo, spelled K A T R I N A Z P A V A O. And if I like you, I'll let you know what the Z stands for.
I am Bonnie, the emotional and sexual partner that actually has their life together. I'm 27. I'm from Boston. My pronouns are they, them, theirs. My sexual orientation is pansexual. My day job is the communications and advancement associate, which essentially is just, I'm the millennial catch-all of an elementary school. My night and weekend job is as an actor, a writer, and a comedian. And my life goal is to make my night and weekend job my day job. I'm a fun fact machine. I know so many things. Alexa, you wanna hear a fun fact? I always wanna hear your fun facts. Do you know that there's over 30 kinds of forks? Did you also know that there are three movies to feature two US governors? All three of them feature Arnold Schwarzenegger. Fascinating. Now. Yeah. I'm adorable, Alexa. I'm really, really cute. I'm cuter than a moonbeam on Tuesdays in a mud pie. You know, I'm just like, I'm every, I'm every dash of adorable that you could possibly want. I stay calm under pressure. <laughs> stay calm under pressure. Yeah. Uh, just so a little bit about this particular photo. This is me at my sixth grade graduation. Um, really holding it together in front of 200 people giving a speech. I can laugh at myself. Um, I love pudding also. Alexa, do you know that I do comedy with you? I, I am familiar, yeah. I remember that we did comedy and it was together. I love comedy. I also have wonderful friends, just like you, Alexa. Speaking of wonderful relationships, I think people often say you should look at how they treat their parents. I have a fantastic relationship with my parents. <laughs> <laughs> and I have leather shoes, just to point that out. Um, please be into the arts. It's such an important part of my life that like, I couldn't imagine sharing any time and space with someone that doesn't want to make that a part of theirs. Please be wise. I underscored that as a marriage of the head and the heart. And the last is please be weird, just like me, like weed. Don't be basic. Be as little or as kinky as you want, but please be kinky. Please cuddle with me. I, we've been locked up for a year and I just want to hold and be held. I went and got some reviews. The 1972 Squatty Potty Championship head judge, Rolling Stone Magazine, maybe you've heard of him, said, who, please don't call us again when asked for comment. <laughs> and I asked them what they thought about Bonnie and they said, who, please don't call us again. Also, they said, this is the middle of a pandemic. Why are you asking about someone random? But I thought I'd leave that off the page. Thanks you all so much for being here. Um, let's go spelunking. <laughs> <laughs> this is me. I'm from Boston. This is a picture of me. Important, I voted. <laughs> um, so basics about me. My pronouns are she series pronouns. I'm bi. Um, this is a gif of my regular weekend activities, cyberbullying, Mitch McConnell, building Lego, the typical stuff. And my favorite fun fact is that the human body can't make the color blue. So blue eyes are not blue. Science is cool and weird. Most of the time I'm a community health educator. I work on outreach and addiction treatment. And the rest of the time, I sit and listen to people on my headphones and pretend we're friends um, on all of the various podcasts I listen to. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and what I'm looking for, you know, I want someone who's a good person. Please don't be a jerk. Um, someone who's willing to take care of their community, talk about their feelings, you know, communication, that skill none of us have and all of us need. Just the, the cutest thing people do is get super excited about stuff. So if you're going to slide into my DMs, like something and talk about it. It's always really fun when people do that, like, oh my God, I love this and sort of pause and are like, wait, am I talking too much? No, you're not. Do it. Be excited. It's amazing. The more you love something, the more fun it is to talk about. I'm really excited to meet everybody who wants to slide into my DMs and come meet me. If you get a chance, get the vaccine as soon as possible, please, for the love of God, get vaccinated. Um, would really appreciate that. And uh, if you want to open with a sticker of you and your vaccine card, that would work well.
So this is me, my uh, erotic headshot. By erotic headshot, I mean for mandatory work headshot. I come out of Boston, Massachusetts, no accent, just the way no one likes it. <laughs> A little bit about me. My name's Brett. I go by pronouns he and him. I'm hetero, but very much on the sensey side. I was self-raised by boys to men in my youth in terms of my romantic outlook. I'm great to travel with from crafting fun itineraries to scoring deals on first class flights. It's been about three years since I paid for my last flight. It's a lot of different interesting ways to kind of hack the system. Wow. So I'd love to be able to share that with a future traveler friend of mine. As you may know, Alexa, I've lived through a lot of crazy stories in my life. And oh, really... you will never run short on stories with Brett. I can guarantee that. Anywhere from the time that I escaped the German mafia with the help of a Turkish drag queen impersonating Elton John to the time I uh, got robbed on a first date at a Disney store. But apart from those crazy stories, I'm also affectionate but independent. I love being fully present when I'm with a person, but it's also important to recognize that we have our own separate lives and time apart. Meaning I don't wanna be with you all the time. I'm not gonna text you back and forth unless it's either logistics or like a meme or a GIF, at least initially. A couple of things that I'm looking for in a future partner, looking for someone who's kind, not nice, kind, big difference, mm -hmm. affectionate, resilient, and has a great sense of humor. I'm totally cool of not moving super fast, but I am looking for a relationship eventually. I've had my share of situationships and I don't wanna be in that situation any longer. I don't need you to be obsessed with the exact same things that I am. I feel like I see that a lot these days and I'm open to a lot of new, learning a lot of new things and taking a lot of new adventures. I used to be a professional poker player. Vegas was practically a second home for me at one point. I write and perform sketch comedy with my comedy group, Suzzy, who you can find on YouTube and Rizzle. And by the time this show is released, I'll be fully vaccinated in regards to COVID-19. I'm a MoBro. So good news, Yay. you can't kill me with COVID. Plenty of other things you can kill me with, but not COVID. I recently had a story published about the time that I was 18 years old and I had an ugly cry in the middle of a strip club because a stripper stole my cheesecake. Uh, teenage anxiety was a very real thing. I'm sure it's a defining story of me as a person, probably, hopefully not now, but at some point in my life. So I'd love for any of my viewers here to check it out. You can find me on Medium at Brett CB which is C and B in the letters. Welcome to Alexa Bake Something French. I'm your host, Christian. Today, we'll be baking one of our favorite French desserts from, our? The, from the one and only Julia Child's cookbook. We don't know what this is, hence the curiosity about the, um... Oh my god! <laughs> Today... Ah! Oh, this is gonna be so bad. We will be making Napoleons. Napoleons are a traditional French dessert <laughs> made with three layers of puff pastry, two layers of pastry cream filling, and a fondant icing top that has stripes of a chocolate coffee icing that has been combed through to give it that distinct look. You'll have five and a half hours to complete this bake. Most of the items you need are on the table behind you. Most of them? But don't worry, there will be assistance. The first button, the red one, is called Help From Abroad. Push it and a special guest from Europe will be here to help you bake. Button two, the blue one, push it and you'll have three minutes with Julia Child's cookbook. Ready, bakers? And your time starts now. Okay. <laughs> How are you moving quickly already? I don't know what's going on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how much butter I got. What do you mean you don't know? It's it is fresh, huh? It is 
it's still, but I opened two things because I thought it was half sticks, but this is whole food butter and I wasn't made aware of that. So this is just like, I think the nub of the quarter of the three quarters. It's, we might need more butter than that. <laughs> this is nub I don't know, I don't know what this is though. <laughs> <laughs> I <I'm gonna> open this. <laughs> 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 oh! I got it. He's got to be. Oh, come on! Oh. Alexa! Alright, but look at this. It doesn't look good. Oh my god! Baker's one hour has passed. I don't think that pastry should be as sticky as it is, so I think we need to look. Oh, the book! <laughs> I learned that the pastry is very wrong. So this is round two of puff pastry because it was tacky and we don't like tacky. Tacky and I hate you. We didn't put you in. I need to figure out what's happening with this. Like, I can't make any part of this pastry not sticky. All right. Well, I guess we need some help. Q, 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 Q. That's me. <laughs> I'm your help. You didn't get anyone French, honey. She's not you didn't French. get anyone French. How do you need pasta dough to make it like less sticky? Flour? I guess we could try, but Let's if try you some flour. Like when we read the book, it said just add droplets of water. It's better. See? Is it better? Is it really better? It is. It needs it feels to be better. pliable, but not wet and sticky. Okay. When they say like not wet and More. sticky. More. <laughs> I appreciate you, but I can't tell if you're coming More. yet. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is worse than the first one. Was it useful? Yeah, you were. Yeah. Do you like the taste of flour? <laughs> ah, okay. It does say, it does say force. Something's happening. That's more than I can say. Most of this process. We do not have enough patience for this. All right, do you think that's pricked enough? One hour left, bakers. <laughs> An hour? Well, that's good enough time. <laughs> I've made a great effort. In that I cannot put this down. <laughs> How many degrees is it outside? Seven. <laughs> Let's take a tour. <laughs> Welcome to my bedroom. <laughs> Fuck me, it's cold. Wait, there's snow? Yes, put it on the snow. Ow, ow, ow. Back to the side. Back to the side. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh no! I'm so afraid of what's happening. Can you okay? That's fine. Even layers. Oh my god! I gotta get the. I gotta get. Do you know the time? 50 seconds, Bakers. Alright, alright, alright. Frosty on. We're just gonna. We're just gonna. Yep. It's nice. It's nice. Hands up, you're done. Ew. Tell us about what you made. Well, um, <laughs> it is the classic French. Don't touch the art. Oh, <laughs> what's this called? It's Napoleon. This is the classic French Napoleon. If you recall, Napoleon was bad. We decided to really lean into the history element here. Yep, we're gonna get right on in there. <laughs> I'm not quite getting layers. 
out of the puff pastry. What are you talking about? I am, are you getting layers? So if you looked at it, you can see that there are layers. They are just not cooked. I don't particularly agree with Julia Child's combination of apricot and chocolate. Mm. And I'll pretend that that is the reason that this tastes bizarre. Yeah, the flavor profiles that Julia Child chose is the reason that this happened. So really what we learned today is that Julia Child was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> have a little overview of me. So here we go. I am basically a grandmother stuck inside a millennial's body. I used to work um, in professional theater before the old pandemic hit, but now I'm here. I work as a substitute teacher. I love to cook. Um, I love to try recipes from new places around the world, um, new recipe books that I got from Christmas, specifically baking. I just made focaccia, which was absolutely delicious and i'm also doing a tour of eating around the world with all my roommates um, which has been really really fun and kind of a way to virtually travel around because you can't go anywhere um so that's been satisfying that wanderlust but i also love to knit and i love to sew recently i have created a full mermaid tail snuggle sack you know like a like an adult <laughs> um so that has been a really fun project that kind of took up part of the pandemic. Um, I also love a period drama series or a period movie. I could talk for days about the costumes of Bridgerton, but I'm not going to because I literally would talk for days about the costumes of Bridgerton. I just want to find someone to talk to would be nice for first having, being able to have conversations, um, talk about the future, which is like a big, like right now, it's just like, hi, hello, here I am. I'm me. I'll make you some cookies. And we can have a drink together. We'll start with that. Hopefully, post pandemic, once we're both vaccinated, um, we can have some new experiences, go out together. Um, and I love hiking, especially with my dog. His name is Hershey. He is one and a half, and I love him so much. This is a picture of him and his beautiful, beautiful face. He looks like a catalog model. We made a full calendar of our dog for our parents for Christmas. Um, and this was Mr. May and it was just, I love it. At the very least, let's have some, have a drink together. I love a bottle of wine. I'm a wine mom, even though I'm not an actual mom, I'm just a spiritual mom. So let's have a drink together. I know that striking up a conversation can be hard, but getting the opportunity to meet my dog is definitely worth it. Thank you for playing with my heart, Alexa. Anytime. <laughs> My name is Andrew Hyde, and thank you for being willing to consider flying down to Austin, Texas. It's ya boy. Fun facts to know and share. He, him, his pronouns. Straight, but will commiserate with you that I'm not Chris Evans nor Chris Hemsworth. I'm currently flagrantly unemployed, so you know I'll have time for you. I'm a meme connoisseur, always down to drink ludicrous amounts of wine with you. Always down to receive your drunk texts if you're having a girl's night out. Or if someone is having incorrect opinions online and you just got a drink after reading and or responding to them. I once got an entire bachelorette party to call me the prettiest princess. I have my own place. Sure, it's all the way in Texas, but that's probably the least worrisome of any of my red flags, right? My secret weakness, dancers. By no means is this a requirement, but hot damn is it a cheat code. Dyed hair is super radical too. There's a joke in here somewhere about how we're all trying to present the perfect image of ourselves. And you know, to really get to know someone is to see someone, you know, flaws and all, ha ha ha. But who's here for that? We just wanna, you know, look at pretty people. Anywho, I'm just gonna read off part of my Tinder bio here because I think it sums things up fairly well. Looking for meme queens, art hoes, massive nerds, zesty debauchery, more excuses to jam with my cello, or a delightful combination of the above. Nice Jewish lad, 420 friendly, will make pancakes for swipes. Also, if you're the kind of lady who's down to sit through the entire credits of a Marvel movie, even if you know there aren't any post-credit scenes, then where the fuck have you been all my life? 
please don't judge me on my PowerPoint making skills. Graphic design is not my passion. I never got into Instagram, so eh, that's not an option. Feel free to, you know, slide in, send some memes. I'll probably send memes back. If that's the entirety of our interaction and relationship, that's fine by me. If you slide into my DMs by saying anything along the lines of, you had me at cello, you can do whatever you want with me for the rest of your life. Perfect. Who wouldn't want that? Who wouldn't want that? <laughs>
this will be the last time I help you with advice. Still going with the pickup lines, you probably should stop. Can't stop. Now me and the girl you like, we're gonna hit the coffee shop. Oh, what? Sorry, a man. Wait, wait, a, wait a minute. Attention. If you or a loved one forgot to cancel your free trial, you may be entitled to compensation. Hello, I'm Mike Hot. And I'm Tim Breaker. And we are a team of heartbreakers here to break up with your free trial. It's a scam that you have to put in your credit card information just to figure out what Fleabag was all about. Let's paint a little picture. You sign up for the free trial and Jeff Bezos has your credit card information again. And then you're done with Phoebe Waller-Bridge's masterpiece in one Sunday. But what happens when you forget to put the last day of the 30-day trial on your calendar? Boom! That's money out of your pocket because you're a human being? You're busy! You're busy! We don't tolerate clingers, especially when they're after your cold, hard cash. You were looking for something casual and you got roped into a commitment. We live in a world that hit it and quit it, but sometimes the hit, it don't wanna quit. The hit is these scammers like Peacock. Sure, you got the office now, but if you haven't seen it yet, it's because you don't wanna see it. You were only trying to figure out what your match on Hinge kept referencing. Pluto? Excuse me, Disney Plus wasn't enough. The dog gets its own friggin' empire. And Adobe Creative Cloud. We're also here for the intellectuals. Don't let the fear of an automatic renewal keep you up at night. Oh my God, Hulu! Look at these numbers. Look at what they are taking right out of your pockets. They'll tell those bastards exactly like it is on your behalf. You only want me for my money. You only wanna for her money. We refuse to play your games. <laughs> Monopoly is for children. <laughs> I had to stay off Twitter until I could watch Bridgerton because there were so many spoilers and my ex took me off their Netflix account. And I wanted a romance filled with passion and drama, but like not in my own life, like removed. Call us at 800-222-2222, extension 222. Or find us at Giuseppe's. You know the booth. You know the booth. And hey, 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 hey. If you don't want to commit just yet, don't worry. Don't worry for a second about it. We'll set you up with a free trial. Call the law offices of Heartbreaker at 1-800-222-2222. Hi, my name's Alina Blow, pronounced Alina a Blow, um, and I am from Boston, Massachusetts. So a couple things about me that you're going to want to keep in mind if you're going to actually do the slide, electric slide into my DMs. Um, my pronouns are she, her, hers, goddess. And that's just like me kind of establishing the power dynamic that I'm looking for in a relationship. Um, finally, my orientation is breathing. So as long as you have lungs, if you're in an iron lung, something like that, like I can get on board because you're alive and that's something for me. Obviously I'm a fierce non-biological woman, um, just looking for attractive people, person, things to worship me, um, which is really important to me, like I said, in terms of power dynamic. So Blow, my last name, is actually chosen, and it was chosen for very specific reasons. So you're going to want to keep that in mind. Not only am I stunningly gorgeous, I'm actually technically a man. Um, that's a government <laughs> term, so whatever. But if you're into like just a smidge of extra equipment with this kind of geesh, um, you come you're right to the front of the line, like, cause it's there. <laughs> Finally, I've got a fat ass and a great attitude, um, which I think speaks volumes. But finally, like, finally, finally, just like, don't come for me. Cause it's like, I'm not the one, you know what I mean? Anyway, a few ways to my heart, um, formally money, big into it. Um, I have a quote that I founded and put in there. Um, it's expensive to look this cheap, Dolly Parton. A line of blow and that really like that for me is kind of like a motto and a mantra that I live by your role in my life will be very concrete things I need validation I need to be flooded with compliments and a crude tremor 
and never second guess any erratic or questionable beha behavior. And then finally, cock. Um, that's a huge thing that leads to my heart. I'm obsessed with chicken. I could eat chicken every day, multiple times a day, yesterday, today, tomorrow, three, seven, 12 times a day. I'm into cock, big cock. You can bring little cock, but might be a little bony, like not for me. You can follow me on my government account, which is at Matt Bougier. Um, that is on Instagram and TikTok. And on those mediums, you're gonna see pics and vids of me, you know, being gorge, fabulous, breathtaking, stunning, hilarious, but most importantly, humble. And I don't even do code. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Emily. Um, I live in LA. I'm from Rhode Island though. And I definitely had a um, culture shock when I came out here and I still do a bit, even though it's been like almost eight years and I like love it and I hate it here, but like I'm stuck here. So it's fine. Uh, <laughs> pronouns she, her, heterosexual, you know, into all those boys, but like, like have some maturity. I hope you know how to make your own doctor's appointments and, um, do your taxes like that's like the level of maturity I'm asking for it's not that hard I don't think I you know I do tv movies all that fun stuff lots of reading it's exciting and cool I get paid to watch tv and read scripts but it's stressful one of the most recent things you might have seen that we've worked on is Yellowstone number cable's most watched drama this year recently I I was bored during COVID, so I ran. I couldn't even run like a quarter mile, and now I ran my first half marathon, um, working on my second, and now I run like six a week, and like I hate myself for saying that, because normally I would like, I still judge those people, even though I'm one of those people now, so I don't consider myself one of those people. I'm not a vegetarian, which I think living in LA, I ha I'm an outlier, I have to like preface that. I eat dairy, even though I am very allergic and very lactose intolerant, and those things are different. Yeah, I didn't know they were different either, but I have both, <laughs> and I still love dairy. I have a sense of humor because the world's depressing enough as it already is. Spontaneity can come out of structure. It's like, I need a structure and I need a plan, but then we can be spontaneous after that. Semi decent taste in TV and film. I love to hate watch The Princess Switch, but if you generally think it's a good movie, then like, you know, I don't know. We'll see. You gotta be okay with like alone time because I am not one of those joy to the hip people. Like I need my alone space. I have an only child. Like I, I need alone time. Normally pre-COVID, I'm traveling a lot, especially for work. And I'm most often not in the same place for more than two weeks at a time. I have an amazing 18 astral cat that I love. And I don't like people who just hate on cats for no reason. I've got my national parks pass. Zion's my favorite. Don't say douchey things. I'll make me want to slap you. And I don't know what else is uh, interesting about me. So I just included a cute picture of my cat, Calvin. So there we go. Hi to everyone on the East Coast. I miss you guys. Miss the East Coast. It's still better than the West Coast. I really wish I was in snow. I wish I was inside while it was snowing outside right now. Hey, what's up? I'm Olivia. I am living in Boston and I'm single. My pronouns are she, her, hers. Um, but if you ever want to like throw in a they, them, that's fine too. I would like to someday be a mall Santa Claus. Um, and, and I'm hoping in the future, you know, things will be more open to that. As far as you know, orientation preferences, um, kind of down for whatever. If you're nice to me, I'll probably fall in love with you. And I am an artist. This is kind of a new development. I've always wanted to be an artist. And I actually quit my job last December to pursue art full time. Yes, I am working in a bookstore, uh, but that's only part time and hopefully not for long. So um, buy my art. So I quit that job. Uh, things I like other than art are skiing, birds, improv, and cooking. Now, things about you that should um, exist. Uh, I am looking for a partner who can also ski. I'll accept a snowboarder. Sure, fine, but you gotta, you gotta shred the gnar, man. Um, you also have to like listening to someone talk about birds. Uh, that's someone being me. And hopefully you enjoy going to my improv shows. You know, a sense of humor is important to me, but what's more important is that you think that I'm funny um, because I think I'm hilarious. So if you, if you're not on that train, then man, you're not about me, huh? And then I just like, uh, 
weird nerds who are passionate about their interests. If you want to follow me on Instagram uh, to slide into my DMs, they are always open on Rock Paper Suck It. This is the name account name that I've had since I was like 13 trying to be on Tumblr. Um, and even if you don't want to date me, that's fine. I think my content is pretty good. Um, I try to about once a week eat a fistful of edibles and try to cook something really complicated on Instagram Live. Uh, I like to think it's what Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart think they're doing. And um, it's generally pretty entertaining. So come through. You can also follow my little um, comic account at Real Fake Bitches. Um, if you want to score some major points with me. Live the Bernie meme. You crack down on the Bernie meme. Alexa, the Bernie meme is kind of huge for me. Like someone literally, as I was presenting, like ordered another something from with it. Amazing. I'm, like the Bernie meme, like I'm so glad it happened when it did because like I literally just quit my job I literally was like okay time to get super serious about this and then that happened and like people I don't know are buying it like people are reaching out to like for me to like illustrate shit for them like I'm losing my mind Incredible. I'm so happy <laughs> auntie happy valentine's day happy valentine's day can you see that? I, I can, but Auntie, what am I seeing? I gave you, I gave everybody a template. You did, and it said there should be a picture of you, and I wrote on it, it's not a picture of me. So what should I do? I just, I didn't, I you I didn't have a picture of me on my template. So what I did is I put my picture on the other pages. Ideally, I would like another man that is very rich. I have become accustomed to the lifestyle in which I have become accustomed. I would like to continue to live in an extravagant lifestyle. I know my worth. I, I'm i worth a lot of these things. So, you know, hopefully the, the guy likes being a sugar daddy. Um, and also I like uh, a very specific penis size. It is 7.36 uh, CMs. I been around a while. I know what mama likes. So that's a must. How many men have fit that requirement for you? More than you'd think. What activities are we safe to do in a pandemic? We're all locked up. I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. I can't go and play bingo. Unless, unless you meant the sexy activities, in which case there's a whole bunch of sexy activities. But Alexa, where, I don't think I should say on the Zoom what my sexy activity preferences are. I don't know if that's appropriate. Trust so I just said I would send you a separate document. Oh, don't send it to me. me. No, Please. I don't want that separate document at all. But maybe if Should anybody I... slides into your DMs, like you can send them that document. I'll fax it to them. This was an open-ended question. So I thought I would share that. I had the bunion on my left foot. Remember I told you last week it was, I was like hobbling around and because of the bunion. It's actually doing a lot better. Uh, and thank you for, for inquiring. If I were to go get the bunion surgery, perhaps the doctor doing my surgery, would be the successful money uh, sugar daddy with the specific penis size that I am looking for. Thus, in conclusion, I'm going to get the bunion surgery, not for uh, medical reasons, but because I think I could find my husband that way. And so in, in conclusion to my conclusion, I withdraw my candidacy for Idris Alba. That's not true. I'm always gonna be available for Idris. Tell him to fax me. I will now take questions from the panel. Slip into my DMs the way I'll slip into your briefs. The only thing the socially distanced special was guilty of spreading is the love nationwide actually. Yeah, thank you so much to all the performers, comedians, and game show contestants who came from Boston, Austin, Texas, DC, New York, Los Angeles, Providence, and Seattle to be a part of this special. It was really exciting to have you and to meet some of you and to get to work with some of you again. Uh, it was so great to have that community uh, surrounding this special. Thank you so much to Matt Shore and my Aunt Lorraine for also continuing to be a part of the specials because they would not be the same without you. Um, spread the love. You know, just 
Love everyone. Fun fact, I actually almost signed off my very first virtual special with something along the lines of take care of yourself and the people around you. And then I realized the king of Valentine's Day, Jerry Springer, upon being home far too much during the pandemic, so I never really watched his show until now, signs off all of his really charming programs with uh, take care of yourself and each other. So I'm really glad I decided to not get corny because then I would have just stolen Jerry Springer sign off. And I hope our shows give off different energies, like the same amount of passion, but different energies. Good night.